Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So as y'all can see, this is gonna be a wig install. Let me put up the information of this wig. I bought this wig with my own money. So this is by the pro. D A the Pro? I don't know. D A P A R O. It's a straight lace front wig. It says pre plucked. I plucked it a little bit more, but it's okay. Um 13 by 4. It say HD transparent lace. It's not HD transparent. This is I would say this is transparent. Definitely not HD. 180 density. So yeah. But this is 30 inches. And 30 inches is 116, 117 dollars. Not bad. So <clears throat> what I have noticed from before even installing it, it does shed a good amount. It does shed. But it doesn't tangle up as bad as like it was just one of a 30 inch wig I bought because this girl, girl off TikTok was like, oh yeah, just buy the wig and use the code. And that one tangles so bad. Like, I'm like, girl, I should have never even bought it because it tangles so bad. This one just shreds. It don't tangle as bad as that one. It just shreds. And yes, it, it is straight. I didn't straighten it. I just washed it, let it air dry, and this is how the hair looks. So, you don't even got to blow dry it. You go straight in with a flat iron. So, here's how the lace look. I bleached the knots. To the best of my capability. I put it on, I left it on there for 30 minutes, so and I used 30 developer. So the wig came with a um elastic band. I sold you have to sew it in yourself, but I sold it in and it also came with a melting band. And I like when they come with the melting band because why are you not sending me a wig with a melting band? And I like how this one is is like no writing on it so it's like yeah let me tell y'all everything y'all need mousse i'm using um a lot of body mousse it says nairobi but i bought a lot of body and i put it in here you're gonna need some clips so like some large clips and in my opinion some small clips too like these ones Obviously, the mouth band that come with the wig, the wig cap. What else y'all need? Brush, comb, small scissors, edge brush, razor, eyebrow razor. But in my opinion, the small, the small eyebrow razor, eyebrow razor, because this will get you closer. Like it's less blade, so you won't have to worry about cutting yourself. You see this one versus the small one like yeah so i always use a small eyebrow razor however you plan on doing it i'm planning on straightening it obviously a hot comb a flat iron um i'm gonna use heat protectant so i'm using this chi spray heat protectant i like it get it from don't buy it from the hair store don't buy it from chi.com buy it from tj maxx because they always got chi at tj maxx so get it from tj maxx and I also have this helmet head spray by Chi. Chi is at TJ Maxx. If, it, if it's not there, try Marshalls. If it's not Marshalls, try Burnson. But I'm trusting you, it's in one of those stores. This small mountain band. It's not even a small mountain band. It's literally just a small elastic, but I love using it to tie down my wig first. And then I put the big one over top. It's just more melted in my opinion. You need a blow dryer. You need your wig glue. I'm not I'm not even gonna tell you what glue I'll use because I don't like this glue. But this is the only one I got, so I'm gonna use it. You also need your wig spray. I like this even. I, I got the small one because I ran out of the big one, so I was like, right, I'm gonna get the small one. This wig glue is good. Like, well, this wig adhesive is good. After you glue down the wig, you go on with this. When the glue dry. Um, I also have this. I tried it a little bit. It's okay. Obviously, you need to oil your scalp. So I I love the meow. Like I'm t I'm, this is my fourth bottle. I love the meow. 
You can never really trust it. And the wig don't have a smell either. Like, it had a tiny, a, a tiny bit of smell when I first got it, but as I washed it, it was good. So this is how the wig is looking. Flat. Y'all see that? Flat. How your wig should be flat. So f in order to get it flat, I'm going to just tell y'all because I didn't record because I just can't right now. I couldn't. Hot comb. Like I said earlier, hot comb. I turned it off already. So your mousse. So you want to put the mousse on first. Um, Like I put the mousse on there, combed it. Then I went in with the hot comb. See this part right here? It's not that flat, but I'm going to spray it with my spray. But this part right here is sticking. You see, I can move it. I'm going to spray it with my spray. And push it back. It would be better if we have heat. Have the hot comb. Hot comb it back. Press it back. And for the widow's part, obviously, you just gotta take that part out. I didn't flat on the hair yet. I plan on doing it soon. I'm just hot and tired. Also, check, I'm gonna put the video on the cards where I did like a detailed talk through of me melting the hair, melting it. Because it's real easy to do. You just gotta have the right products. So, yeah. So, here I am installing the wig. Um, I already added the three layers of glue. I'm not telling y'all the glue because I don't like it. And I don't know if it was a fake one I bought. So, there's no point. But, yeah. I did three layers. I always do three layers. Wait for all of them to dry clear before I add another layer. And now, after all of the layers are clear, I'm applying the lace on top. And I'm combing back the hair because when I first started installing wigs, I used to always get like the hair and the glue. And it honestly, that makes your install look old and it messes up the glue like faster than if you didn't put any hair in it. So I'm just pressing it in with my fingers and making sure there's no hair in there and the lace is stuck to the glue, stuck like duct tape. And then after everything is pressed in and how I like it blow dry it i blow dry on like medium heat so medium heat high air so yeah um after that here i am still making sure it's no hair about to be in the glue so i'll tie it down like i said i used the small elastic band and then i go in with the big elastic band honestly that really melts your wig and i don't take it off until i feel like my ears are gonna pop off so However long that take for you. You see it's peeling. I told y'all I used a small razor, but I couldn't find it at that point. So here I am using the big razor, but if you can get a small razor, get it because like every wig installed that I loved, I used a small razor and it looked amazing, like chef's kiss. So now, after doing that, you take your lace spray, whatever spray you use. Some people use got to be, some people use of a spray i'm using the black even and that's just melting the lace into my skin more so yeah i just doing that and then after that i'm gonna apply some makeup to it because makeup like the makeup is gonna seal it in after it dry of course Cause you don't want to apply the makeup to it and it's wet because then it's going to start lifting. It's going to be too much. So here, add the makeup. I use Ruby Kisses Cream Foundation. Get it at the beauty supply. It's with all the makeup. The makeup that most people don't really buy it. But yeah. The shade I use, I'm not sure. I think it's either the darkest shade or the second darkest shade. Okay, so... After installing this wig, it looks good, but like I was showing y'all, like it had breakage. So the hair feels pretty good. Um, it does shed a lot. Like you see his hair. Wait, no, like his hair all on my floor. So it does shed a lot. Um, so if you don't like shedding, 
and if you really can't stand it um you definitely do need to keep brushing it it don't get tangled as easily as a different wig i had in the past but you definitely do need to keep keep a brush with your comb sign but for amazon wig it's literally pretty good like the quality is good y'all see how fat it is on my head I just love my nails. I really got a foul though, because they don't really fit. It's like they shrunk. Okay, so I wanted to give y'all an update on this wig. I'm going to just go back over it. It does tangle a lot. I, I'm telling y'all, I literally just finished flying on it. And it tangles a lot. But like, when you brush it out, it looks good, of course. I see. But if you do that, it's going to tangle. But, like, it looks good. Um, let me see. So, yeah, I got it from Amazon. I have had this wig on since last Monday. So, it's been a week. And, honestly, everything I've noticed within that week of wearing it, it tangles a lot and it sheds a lot. But the hair, it feels good. Like, I like the quality of it. It's just, it tangles a lot and it sheds a lot. So, like, you need to keep a brush with you. It's like, you got to keep brushing it out. Also, the lace is pretty good. I really like the lace. Even though it's a 13 by 4 like, it's still giving, like, scalp. It's like, and I had it on for like a week. My sides, that's a whole nother story. But like, at least, like it's lifting right here, but at least it's giving scalp. You know, like, in the middle, like, it's giving scalp. So, just to let y'all know how I care for it. So, I flat iron it when I feel like it need to be flat iron. I feel like it needed to get flat iron today. The last time I straightened it was, I think Saturday night. Yeah, but Saturday night, today is Tuesday. So yeah. The hair is pretty good. Like I didn't cut layers in any or anything. I didn't do anything to it, but pluck it, bleach it, straighten it. But yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I'll wear my melt band during the day. Just put this on. It came with the melt band, and it also came with, like, a elastic band. Like, you see this black band? It came with this elastic band that you yourself had to sew in. The wig is big, so if you have a big head, it will be perfect for you. But if you don't, you definitely need to sew the elastic band in. Um... I like the hair like it's pretty I don't think I'll buy it again just because of how it tangles and sheds I really don't like hair that tangles and sheds at least one without the other and I'd rather it shed than tangle every five seconds because that's just not y'all see I'm running my fingers through it and it is 30 inches like when I put my hair to the back it tangles and I apply serum to it. Go to the back of my head. It starts looking crazy. Like it tingles. But yeah. Would I buy it again? No. Do I think y'all should buy it? It's only like $100. So if you need a bleak, that's straight. $400 yeah does it curl I'm not sure yet I haven't curled it I'll give out of five stars I'll give it a three because it's not the worst wig I ever had but it's definitely not the best it's, it's it's you get what you pay for so that's a three okay if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe down below for more and yeah